Hi, I am Nacieli, and today's tutorial is this tiny little bug amigurumi uh, that is made uh, with no sewing needed. So we crochet all of it and we place the eyes and this is a color change and the details I made with pink. So this one I use a 3 millimeters hook and this bigger one I use 4 millimeters hook. So you can use any hook size you want. You just need to use a compatible yarn. So I have several other um, keychains. So I'm going to still share the video of this French Bulldog keychain. Okay. It's really tiny also. Um, and also I have other, other keychains that are no sewing needed also, but different animals like this frog or this pig. So I'm gonna link, I'm uh, gonna link down on the description box, the keychain playlist. It's almost all of them no sewing needed. So if you're not a big fan of sewing, you can check it out. And I, I'm also going to put it on a card. Um, so this for the video, I am going to start by, I'm going to use a 4 millimeter hook and a 100% cotton yarn that is compatible with it. On the description box, I leave the written pattern so you can follow me along. So let's start. So I'm going to start by doing a magic ring and then I am going to make six single crochets in the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. my yarn tangle. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna pull now the magic ring. So that was the first round. Uh, we have six stitches on the first round. For round number two, we're gonna make uh, six increases. So we're gonna increase six times. So one single crochet and two single crochets on the same stitch that's one increase so one and two one more increase we're gonna increase six times up to the end of the round and by the end of this round that is round number two we're gonna have 12 stitches so if you like my patterns please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts or suggestions of videos that you would like me to do, you can let down the comments. I read all of them. And if you do uh, any of my patterns, you can and post it. You can uh, mark me and tag me on Instagram, which is uh, the same name than my channel, and it's linked down on the description box also. So I started here in round number three. I did one stitch and put on my marker. So round number three, we start with two single crochets. So one that I made already. Now two single crochets. Now we're gonna do the tail. So we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We skip this first loop. When start on the second loop, we're gonna increase four times. So one increase, two, three, and four. So we increase here on the loops of the chain. So we have one more left and then here we just do one stitch. 
Now we're gonna continue. So we gotta pay attention that we put the uh, our last stitch here and then did our chain. So the next one is here. We're gonna do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And now here we have the tail. Now we're gonna do the feet. Uh, so we're gonna do a popcorn stitch. And for a popcorn stitch, we make uh, five double crochet on the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I made all this double crochet on the same stitch. So pull here now, go in the first one, take my loop here, and then pull through it. So that's a popcorn stitch. Now we're gonna do two single crochets. Whoa. One, make sure to tie this one real good. So two, now you're gonna do another popcorn stitch. It is the other foot, so whoop. That didn't go well. So uh, five single cro five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Five double crochets on the same stitch. Now we'll leave out our loop. Come here on the first one, take our loop, and then pull through. Now the popcorn stitch. And now for finishing up round number three, we do two more single crochets. So we do one here, tie it up, and two. Now we're gonna start round number four. We're gonna start round number four by doing six single crochets. So one, I'm gonna pull my marker. Gotta be really careful here with the tail. So one, two, uh, this one. It's the tail, so we skip it and go back. One, two, now three, four, five, and six. Six single crochets. Now we're gonna decrease three times. So gotta be careful here and take the loops. I'm gonna do one decrease, two decreases, and now three. Oh. Three decreases. So we finish round number four with nine single crochets. Now we're gonna do round number five and uh, number six, which is gonna do nine single crochets, which is one single crochet uh, for each stitch. So we're gonna do here two rounds uh, without making any increases or decreases, just one single crochet in each one of the single crochets on the previous round. So one single crochet after single crochet. So I finish here round number five because I got here to my marker. Now I'm gonna do round number six, which is two rounds with nine single crochets. What is your favorite uh, breed of dog or do you like the mixed ones? 
My favorite one is Huskies because of the way they sound. <laughs> they, I had uh, a couple of them and I feel like the, the sounds they make it's different and I think it's so sweet. So now I finish my two rounds, round number five and six with nine single crochets. Now for round uh, number seven, I'm going to do two single crochets and one increase. And I'm going to repeat that three times. So one and two single crochets. Now one increase. This was the first time. Now one, two single crochets. One and two single crochets together, which is an increase. That's That was the second time. So now one and two single crochets and one increase a third time. So, oh, sorry. Uh, um, so that was, that makes 12 stitches and I am forgetting to go through with my marker. Gonna do it now. So for round number eight, we're gonna do 12 stitches. So now we're not gonna make any increase or decrease, just single crochets. So 12 single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So twelve single crochet, that was round number eight. Now for round number nine, we're gonna do one single crochet and one increase on the next stitch. And again, one single crochet and one increase on the next stitch. We're gonna repeat this uh, six times. One single crochet, one increase up to the end of our rounds. So one single crochet and one increase. Sometimes it's hard because gotta put the camera really close so you guys can see. And sometimes my needle gets to it. So I finish round number nine with 18 single crochets. Now I'm gonna start round number 10. So round number 10, we're gonna do 18 single crochets. So not one increase or decrease, we're just gonna do single crochet after single crochet. So I'm gonna pause a little bit because it's just doing the single crochets. Um, and then I get back to you. You can finish your round. So one single crochet after a single crochet. So I finish here, uh, round number 10 with 18 stitches. Now we're gonna start uh, round number 11. So we're gonna start uh, round number 11 by doing 13 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen single crochets. Now we're gonna make a popcorn stitch, which is, uh, we start by doing five double crochets on the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five double crochets. Now we take the loop, pull through. So popcorn stitch, 
Now I'm going to do three single crochets. One, four, oops, <laughs> two, and three single crochets. Now another popcorn stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have here another popcorn stitch. We're gonna finish this round that is uh, round number 11 uh, with this stitch, with the popcorn stitch. And we're gonna have still 18 stitches. Now we're gonna start round number 12. And we're gonna do one single crochet. We're gonna place our marker on this one because this is the first stitch. It gets like hidden over there. So one single crochet uh, on round number 12. Now we're gonna decrease two times. So we're gonna do one decrease and two decreases what is that and four increases i'm gonna start doing the neck so this is the increase so one increase two three and four Four increases. Now you're gonna decrease two more times. One decrease, two decreases. Now one single crochet. Pay attention, like it's a, the stitch gets different behind the corn corn stitch. So one single crochet, and now we finish by doing two decreases. So one and two. And we got to the end of our round. This was round number 12. And we finish off this round with a count of 16 stitches. Now we're gonna start uh, round number 13. We're gonna start by doing a decrease. So we come here and do a decrease. And we're gonna place our marker. Look at that. That's it's our first stitch. So like I said, two decreases. So we did one. Now a second decrease. Now we're gonna increase six times. One, increase. Two increases. Three. Four. Five and six so we increase six times now we're going to decrease three times so one two and three so we finish here uh round number 13 and we finished this round with 17 stitches. Now we're gonna stuff the body. Let's see. It's a 
the body is done. And now we're gonna start round number 15. Oh no, uh, 14. We're gonna start by decreasing one. So we're gonna make here one decrease and then place our marker. On the decrease. So now we're gonna do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four single crochets. We're gonna do uh, one increase. Three single crochets, one, two, three, and one increase. Now we're going to finish the round with six single crochets. So one, two, three. Four, five, and six single crochets. So there, that's where we are. Now we're gonna start round 15, which is the round that we're gonna uh, include the ears. So we're gonna start with seven single crochets in the color beige. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you're gonna change colors. Uh, we're gonna include the back black yarn now. So what I do is I take the last loop out and then I take it back and then I, I pull through with the other color. And now we're gonna make the ear. So we're gonna, we have two loops on the stitch. We're gonna take only the front loop to do the ear. So we're gonna start by doing a slip stitch. Then we're gonna do one half double crochet. One double crochet. one treble crochet all on the same uh, stitch now a double crochet again a half double crochet again and one slip stitch again so so the ear was made all on the same stitch and on the front loop only. So back here we have the back loop still. Now we finish and we're gonna change colors again. So we're gonna do in the color, uh, in the beige color, we're gonna do three single crochets. So we go come here and take our page cover again. Pull this real tight. So take the beige page cover here and do one. Pull the, the other yarn real tight here. So one, two, 
and three. And here I am going to change to black again. So I'm going to pull here. So I made here three single crochets in the beige color. Now I'm going to do a second year just like the first one. So here we have two loops. We're going to take only the front loop and going to make all the stitches here. So one slip stitch, one half double crochet, one double crochet, one treble crochet, all on the same stitch and front loop only. Now one double crochet and look, oh my God. Now a half double crochet and a slip stitch. So here we get the ears. And now I'm going to change colors again. And I'm going to uh, do six single crochets in the beige color now. So here, one, pull the black, two, oh, two, three, four, five, and six. Ooh. I'm gonna pause here a little bit to cut this black yarn. So now you're done with the black yarn. I pull here tight and here also. And I just tie a knot here. Not really tight here, uh, like between them, because otherwise you're gonna pull the head like this. So just do it like loose, and then it's gonna stay inside the head like that. Oh, sorry. So now we're finished this round. That is round number fifteen. We finish it uh, with eighteen single crochet still. And now you're going to do round number 16. We are going to do uh, 18 single crochets, so we're not going to increase or decrease anything. But we have to remember uh, to pay attention and the stitch, stitches behind the ears. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we go back here and the eight will be here. So seven, eight. Now we go back here and it's hidden here, the ninth. <laughs> nine, 10. 11 behind twelve so is this really hidden? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we'll finish uh, round number 17, oh, 16, still with 18 stitches. Now we're gonna do round 17 with 18 stitches. 18 single crochet again. So it's the same thing. 
but we don't have like the the ones hidden anymore because it's here so i'm gonna make mine here and then i get back with you so i finish here uh round 17 with 18 stitches now i'm gonna start i'm gonna do round 18. i already started made one and pulled through the marker so we're gonna start with six, five uh, single crochets one two three four and five single crochets now we're gonna decrease one Uh, we're going to do one single crochet and decrease again. Two single crochets, one and two, and decrease again. Now I'm going to finish off with four single crochets. So one, two, three and four so we finished this round that was from number 18 with 15 single crochets and now we're gonna do round 19 we're gonna start by doing three single crochets one two and three uh, we're gonna decrease two times so one decrease two now uh, we're gonna do two single crochets so one single crochet two single crochets and we're gonna decrease two times one and two and we're gonna Finish the round with two single crochets. So one and two. So we finished this round that it, that was round oh, sorry round number nineteen with uh, eleven stitches. Now we're gonna start round number twenty. Uh, we start round number 10, 20 with five single crochets. So we made one, two, three, four, and five single crochet. Now we're going to decrease one, and we're going to finish off with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four single crochets. So I finished this round, that was round number 20, with 10 single crochets. For round number 21, we're gonna do 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and ten so now for the last round that is round number 22 we're just gonna do four single crochets but back loop only so we have two loops we're gonna be taking just the back loop we're gonna do four single crochets that way so we take the back loop and do one two three and four now what we do is we would cut uh, the yarn we leave like a long thread because we, we use it to sew it and close so here between uh rounds number 18 and 19 we're gonna place the safety eyes so here uh, at this one we were at round number 21 so 21 um 20 19 and 18 so between these two rounds 
we're gonna place the eyes um, and between them we leave four single crochets one two three four that should be the second one we gotta be sure of oh, the the ears what we're gonna do uh, so it looks like a pug we're gonna put a little bit of glue here and do it like this so here we can pull it out and I'm gonna place my uh, safety lock here of these eyes and stuff the head and then I get back uh, to show you how to sew the, the mount So I stuffed the head and placed the safety lock. Now what we're gonna do is gonna take a tapestry needle. And we're gonna sew here the mount. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this way. We're gonna come to the front and then to the back like this. We're gonna go and then come back so it gets like all closed up. And now I'm gonna just fixate somewhere so here I'm gonna do a loop and then pull it so it gets really tight and now here I'm gonna lose the thread inside the animal here if you're gonna do it as a keychain you can use this yarn to place the keychain but I'm not this is kind of like a tiny stuffed animal so I'm gonna cut it out and now we're going to take a black thread and we're going to do the nose so we take a tapestry needle and i'm going to start here in the ear because i'm going to lose it first uh, later on so here we're going to come to the middle of this of the head the head of the mouth and then we're gonna come to on the round down below you see and pull because it's what's gonna give the aspect of that the face is like uh shoved <laughs> and somehow shoved so here and we pull, then do it again. And we do it several times. And pull this here also. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to come out with it here. So there you have the nose, you see? And here I tie a knot to this thread. And I'm gonna loose inside the, the head. OK, 
trapped. I'm going to do the same with this one. Now I'm going to glue the tips of the ears. I'm just going to get my glue. So here, can you see the drop of glue? On the round below, I put a little bit of glue. So now I'm going to fold the ears like this, the tips of the ears, and glue it. I'm going to hold it. And like that's that's gonna give like the the bug <laughs> like ears, you know. And now uh, we we are left with the last details. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paint. This is a appropriate paint uh, for fabrics that doesn't come off with the washing. And now I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of paint and then do that, that detail here that the bugs have on their forehead. And now I'm gonna paint around the eye. And now the mouth. So all of it. So it really starts looking like a bug when you do that. Like the the those mean faces that they have. <laughs> The bug like bug uh, dog's head. So you paint it and I do the detail here in the eye. Now we're gonna wait for it to dry, and there you go. You have your pug amigurumi dog. So I like it better with this uh, more thin yarn with the three millimeters hook. Because it gets like really, really tiny. But if you want to do bigger like this one, you can do it also. So there it is, your pug dog. Stay tuned uh, on the channel for more of my patterns, all the other dogs that I'm going to make, uh, like the ones I've shown you, like the French Bulldog. I'm going to share all of them with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I see you next time. Bye-bye.